And as the colder winter moves in, businesses in the area are looking for ways to keep customers warm while letting them shop safely in the middle of the pandemic. So the city of Northville is bringing out these heating pods that people can use while they wait to go inside of a store. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live in Northville this morning with the person who came up with this idea and what visitors can expect from the heat the streets experience. Good morning, Jennifer Ann. Good morning. This is really so cool. And if you've been out here really any time in the past summer, you know downtown Northville has a really cool setup. And you can see that they're already beginning to get ready for the holidays. And Manfred Schoen, one of our local business owners here, has uh, really brought some incredible new ideas to help this last as the temperatures get colder. That's so it. so tell me a little bit about your company and, uh, and where you got this idea from. Okay, so I'm a co-owner of uh, up to go and uh, we make collaboration software, so collaboration is in our DNA. And the idea of extending the success from the summer and fall through the winter uh, is actually kind of natural to me. Uh, I'm, I grew up in Germany and um, Okay. Yeah, we can walk. We can walk yeah. together. So you grew up in Germany, and so in yes. Germany, having like street types of things like this is uh, is really the way things work, right? So I uh, so and as we are keeping our distance, and we've got Danny keeping his distance, we see we've got just a beautiful setup. But things are about to change. That's right. Okay, so tell sure. me what what you brought here that you said they're already doing in Europe, but you thought, man, this could be a solution here. Yeah, so they, in Europe they celebrate the winter with uh, winter markets. And so people enjoy the outdoors and they prepare seasonal food and seasonal beverages. And so I've always missed that. And with COVID and the success they had here in the summer and the fall, I thought it would be beneficial to extend that throughout the winter with these uh, structures that allow people to consume throughout the winter uh, seasonal food and beverages outside. So what is that going to look like? Where will, the, where will those structures be? So the structures, there will be two types, food stands. Uh, think of them kind of like a stationary food truck where people get uh, beverages and food. Most of them will be probably down there in town square. Okay. And then the pods, we call them, where people can at bar height tables uh, have their meal or their, enjoy their beverage. They will be scattered throughout town, it's similar to what you see here just now with those structures, what people can be. So will there be pods like around these tables and chairs? No, the pods are um, eight by eight or eight by 16. So they have standing high tables or lower tables um, for about four to six people in groups. So each pod holds about four to six people. Right now we're looking at building 16 of them. And are uh, those exclusively for dining? No, I mean, you can just uh, get a cocktail somewhere or a wow. hot beverage and you can just walk over and stand there and, and hang out with your friends. Stand here looking good. Uh, so yeah. and when will these pods be available? So we'll start putting the first ones up by the end of this month. By the end of the month. OK, yep. so just in time for, of course, like the holiday season and uh, for whether it's shopping or you are trying to connect and want to stay socially distant and outdoors, you can support the local businesses right here in downtown Northville. We're going to meet some more of the business owners that are part of this project coming up in just a little bit. Such a cool idea, Saima. Yeah, it is. But Thank warm. You. Yes, cool, but warm. I like that. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jen.